Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Alexander Fonseca. Uh, currently, I'm doing a PhD program at Michigan State University under supervision of Dr. Annette O'Connor. Uh, the title of this uh, oral abstract presentation is an interactive forest plot for visualizing risk of bias assessment. Well, uh, the line for this presentation, we are going to start with some basic concepts like forest plot, risk of bias, visualization and assessment, motivation, materials and methods, results, and finally, conclusion. To start, we are going to uh, introduce the concept of forest plot. We know that the forest plot is the most common way to summarize and combine the results of multiple sources of evaluation. It's pretty useful in systematic reviews and uh, meta-analysis. Uh, main goal of this kind of uh, graph is to look for patterns. Another important component of this work is the risk bias assessment and visualization. We know that the risk bias assessment is a critical step in all process of systematic review. Um, and the interpretation uh, of these results uh, are pretty important in order to establish the internal and external validity of the studies included. Um, there are multiple ways to visualize the results of that assessment, but this one that appears here is the most common way, that is, uh, which is called a traffic light plot. So you can see here that the color indicates the level of, of the judgment of the risk bias assessment. For example, the green ones indicate that the risk bias is low. Mainly the motivation for, the, for this work was when, when in the start uh, around six or seven months ago, uh, we started developing a website to show the results from a systematic review. We are looking in our uh, for package that allows you to uh, visualize the uh, forest plot as well as the risk price assessment. We found this pretty good uh, package like forest and uh, risk uh, wellings. But our idea is to, we thought that could be a good idea to try to combine, combine them in order to create uh, an interactive forest plot in which the risk of bias assessment uh, will be included. So the materials and results for this website uh, are presented in the next slide. Well, uh, this is a plugin view of the website that was built as a part of a living systematic review project. And you can see at the left side of the screen that there are multiple tabs, but we are interested in the forest plot of this website. Well, once there, uh, you can see that there is a forest plot, a default forest plot that change according to the selection of the final user and in these two drop down menus the user can select the effect size so for example let me select prevalence ratio um, modify the type of exposure to indirect measure of exposure and so you can see a new forest plot so let me go back to the default forest plot both ratio and direct measure exposure. This was this is the default forest plot. Uh, well the idea with this forest plot is that contain three novel functionalities. The first one is that the user can over over the point estimate square uh, on any study in the forest plot and X is the slide of the point estimate and the confidence interval for the measure of association and the outcome as well. So you can see the same um, in any of the squares here. Second, uh, user uh, can click here on the point estimate square on any study and the risk of bias judgment is displayed in an interactive table alongside the forest plot where a colorate system indicates the level of bias that was considered by the review team. Uh, 
it is possible to visualize uh, multiple association at once by click by clicking uh, in multiple point estimate squares. Finally, uh, in this recent bias table, uh, the user can click on a row and a pop-up window appears containing the justification of the recent bias for each domain evaluated. So you can see here the confounding evaluation, missing data, um, assessment, and so on for any other row in the table. Well, for the development of that novel um, functionalities, we mainly use three packages, ggplot, uh, gggraph uh, from a table, and Shine as well as the main platform to develop the website. As conclusion, uh, our ideas for the future would be to implement an R package. We know that we have to improve some functionalities in order to make that launch. Um, we are thinking also into the develop a web app to make the tool accessible to people without a strong background in R. Mm, and finally, we are thinking that we are completely open to work with other groups that are working in the same idea of visualization, the results of systematic review. So yeah, we are more than happy to collaborate uh, with, other, uh, with other groups uh, that are working in the same way. So um, finally, thank you for your time. Um, and I, I would like to thanks to the National Poor Board for their support. Thank you.